Hey guys, it's Chad Keel with NatureReconnectionClass.com and Learning Geology on Facebook. And today I'm here with a geomorphological body of water that's trapped in a depression right on the trace of an active strike slip zone, the San Andreas Fault. Stick around. There are three forces that create faults. We have tension, which creates the normal fault, compression, which forms a reverse fault, and also shear force, which creates the active strike slip zone, which we're currently on top of. Abrasion caused by shear contact pulverizes the underlying bedrock, and that creates the fine sediment layer at the bottom of the depression containing the water. These sag ponds are filled with water in three different ways. One is through fluvial processes, natural precipitation, downpour of rivers, streams. Another would be aligned springs. And that's a really good trace indicator of where the fault is actually present on the surface. So for instance, you could have water moving through porous rock, and then when the fault cracks, for whatever reason, that water is diverted to the surface, and that's a good trace indicator of where the fault is passing through. And then finally is upwelling, and upwelling is when denser, colder water rises to the surface. So those are the three ways that your sag ponds are gonna get filled with water. An interesting thing to note was the shore on one side of the sag pond was made up of a pebbly Pelona schist, and on the other side on the shore was an eroded sandstone. This sag pond in particular is infamous for myths and legends about the pond being bottomless and about bodies being sucked down to the bottoms of the earth. And I was lucky enough, being out here filming this video, that I bumped into a fisherman with a similar myth. Check it out. Yeah, my name is Jay, and the history of this right here is, is, comes from an earthquake fault. And uh, I've been coming here since 1965. There was a point where a lady went in down on the bottom end down here and got sucked in, and they found her body in Riverside County. So I would what? say from this point right here, about 25 miles to where they found the body at. All right. Well, thank you so much, Jay. There you go. Thank you, sir.